My name is Chris. I currently play at Brownsburg High School. It was my first varsity game. My thumb was dislocated. After that, it was all swollen. I kept playing because I wanted to push through the injury. Pushing through the pain is not unusual for student athletes. It's even admirable in some instances. But the sports medicine and orthopedic team at Hendricks Regional Health says perspective and balance are crucial. So this is your tibia, your fibula. Got your femur here. Dr. Robin Fian works with student athletes like Chris every day. She's part of the Hendricks Regional Health Sports Medicine and Orthopedic Care Team. They're assigned to Brownsburg Middle and Senior High Schools. Um, it used to be you played a multitude of sports. Um, now it's kids are specializing very early and that's what they're doing year round with no break. The end result, says Dr. Fian, more injuries at an earlier age. Her colleague, orthopedic specialist Dr. Kevin Ritter, agrees. I think it probably took a while for people to recognize why are we seeing more injuries in kids? Why are uh, patients coming in with more knee pain and more elbow pain? And then for us to be able to look back and kind of track that to see, well, look how much this kid played this one sport, look how much this kid has been throwing the ball, something probably needs to change. Technology, equipment, and even the latest techniques are all very important tools in helping to keep young athletes healthy. But the doctors here say perhaps even more important is parental input. Parents are in control, obviously, um, you know, with regards to their kid's participation, even if the kid is really um, you know, pushing for that. And both doctors say the first and most important step for parents in this type of preventive medicine is taking a break, especially with younger kids. You know, taking a month off and not doing anything athletic even. Just let them do something else, not have to worry about the competition, not have to worry about the training part of that. We've got kids that have a lot of great potential, but then they injure themselves by high school and then they never are able to play again. They usually are pretty extraordinary athletes and it's not always because they played all year round. In Brownsburg, Tina Cosby for Great Day TV.